Goldman Sachs chief economist Jan Hatzius joins us, not at Post 9, but on the ground in Lake Como in Italy at the Ambrosetti Conference. Jan, uh, it is great to have you. Uh, I guess first your thoughts on, on headline and how much should we appreciate some of the internals uh, like annual wage growth and participation? Look, it was a relatively uncomplicated, strong report with a strong print on, on payrolls, another upside surprise relative to consensus expectations, small drop in the unemployment rate, and a good increase in household employment after some weakness there. So I think on the economic activity side, this is very unambiguous. But as you say, the wage numbers have been decelerating, and the month-to-month Numbers are, you know, sometimes up, sometimes down, but the trend has been decelerating despite this strong labor market. And I think that's very encouraging for those of us who are looking for inflation to move back to 2 percent before too long. Uh, Jan, you've talked in the past about paths to cuts. Uh, one, of course, is a job market deterioration. Uh, Obviously, that doesn't seem to be happening in the near term, but the other is inflation coming down materially. So how does today's report kind of renew even more focus on next week's CPI number? I think the CPI number is going to be probably more important than the payroll number. The, you know, possibility, though never likelihood, in, in our view, of a weaker jobs market, getting the Fed to cut more quickly, uh, you know, I think that's sort of off the table and may cut us off the table with these numbers, was already close to off the table before this. So it's really going to be about inflation. If inflation uh, comes, comes down further, and, you know, the year-on-year -year rate has trended down. Core PCE inflation is 2.8 percent now, despite the higher month-on-month -month numbers over the last couple of months. But if the, the basic trend of decelerating inflation, if that stays in place, then I think we will see a cut by the middle of the year at the June meeting. But I do think we will need to see those inflation numbers kind of settle down the frayed nerves at, you know, at, on the FOMC, at least among, among some people who've been talking more hawkishly. Jan, uh, this, earlier this week, there was a lot of attention on the fact that the ISM manufacturing indicators ticked back into expansion territory. They've been, you know, dormant and weak and a drag on the economy for the better part of two years. Uh, and now with the strong jobs market, you assume the consumer side of the economy is going to hold up. Uh, even if it seems like there's been some pockets of fatigue there. Does this mean the overall economy is reaccelerating in your view, or is it essentially just at a steady state? I think it's at a steady state. The economy is doing very well, and growth is, you know, we think for the year as a whole, probably close to 3 percent or close to 2.5% on a fourth quarter to fourth quarter basis. So very solid performance. But I don't see a, an acceleration. I see steady growth uh, with demand growing at a healthy pace, supply actually growing at an even faster pace. If you look at some of the signs of labor market rebalancing, I think they're telling you that while growth is strong, it's not the sort of growth that's going to create higher inflation. I think it's very compatible with inflation coming down because supply is so strong.